currently I'm in Indiana. I dropped a little out of delivery here uh, this morning, which is a Walmart drop off in Auburn, Indiana. At a point, was that five, four in the morning? I left there around seven, eight ish. I'm not even gonna say recently. I kind of been left my um, my next old one. I picked up that load. It's only like 65, 70 miles away from where I was. It was literally on the state borderline of Ohio and Indiana. Like literally, I could have walked <laughs> between the uh, state borderline and stuff. But yeah, I got this load. Uh, I guess you consider this a uh, broken stuff. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's produce. We're hauling eggs, baby. Woohoo, we're hauling eggs. So I just thought this would be a fo uh, funny moment to talk about the egg epidemic, I guess, that's going on right now. Because every time I'm on social media, I see people complaining about the price of eggs. I haven't purchased eggs in a while, even though I do have some eggs. So I'm not that kind of lucky eggs. But yeah, I guess the price of eggs have dropped, have jumped dramatically. Uh... I haven't, I don't know. You know what's funny is when I went to Walmart, because I don't shop for eggs. In the truck, there'd be no reason. It's not like I have a skillet in here to fry it. Or a pot to boil it. But yeah, you know. Don't worry, America. I am. I will save you by hauling more eggs. <laughs> You're welcome. But yeah, this load... Um, came after the Walmart load, load before because they sent me this load the day before my delivery when I uh, was parked for the night. Park that I love's in Auburn. Was it in Auburn? No, I, 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 I don't know how to say it. Um, Ag, Agola, Indiana, I guess. But that's just the best way. But yeah, it's pretty big loves. Has the Hardys and all that stuff. But yeah, yeah, I parked there for the night. They, the first load, I rejected this load by the uh, the other load by the way. They um that load was going to Utah, and I was on the I-80. And I'm all I knew once I seen it was going to Utah, I'm like, hold on. I don't think I'm taking this load because I already know I-80 going more west is not gonna be good. So I'm I looked up everything, you know, looked up the route, and I was going to cross Wyoming. Give me a second. I'll be back. All right, sorry about the delay. I got a call. Um, where was I going with this? Um, the egg epidemic. Yeah, so, don't worry about it, Rob. Uh, saving you one 
exactly. But I just know what I just kind of know what states I'm going to cross. And I was thinking the whole time, like, don't I cross Wyoming? And I checked. I do cross Wyoming. Now I know the um, the reason I had to reject the load. I checked the weather report. It said everything should be cleared by I guess by then, but it's supposed to snow again on Thursday. Now. That whole area, especially freaking Wyoming, snow is very, very freaking unpredictable. The I-80's been shut down around that area all the freaking time. And I'm just, I'm just, you know, in my head like, man, I refuse to freaking get stuck on, get stuck in, in freaking Wyoming. Again, even though it's says it's gonna snow and who knows maybe it's not supposed to be a bunch of snow I don't care the fact that it said it's gonna snow is enough for me and I don't trust Wyoming and their unpredictable weather so that was enough for me to reject the load I'm like yeah I'm not doing that nope you can send me south or east yeah you can send me south or east anywhere again towards the Midwest I don't care but I'm not taking that route for me how many times I've seen on uh, freaking Prime Facebook groups, how many people have been stuck in Wyoming or just I 80, just almost that whole area in general? Nope. And I, I would have to restock my fridge before I could do that type of stuff, too. Yeah, so nope, 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 nope. I refuse that loop. I was not going to do it. This was a short load. I, I like, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like the short loads. Uh, I've become so accustomed to them. Like they deliver like next day, maybe two days or something. And I'm just getting them delivered. Like, yeah, it hasn't been too bad. Um, oh yeah, I got the, uh, the question of what I consider becoming a trainer again. Uh, not again as in like, I've been asked before, not as in, I've been a trainer before. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Well, yeah. Shout out to all the trainers. Hey, I respect what you guys do. I respect all of what you do. But for me, nope. Nope. I'm sorry, I cannot do it. I just can't do it. I can't do it. I can't picture myself doing it. Number one, I don't believe I'm not downing myself, but I don't believe I can be that great of a teacher main reason is I don't think I'll have the patience and I wouldn't have time for people's laziness you know some people you know they believe like you know because there's a lot of people that get into this especially around their first year the first time they pass the CDL test and everything oh now they got it now when it comes to getting the real work you know now they're they have second thoughts of like, yeah, you know, I don't think this is for me. Da, 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 da. I want to quit within the first year or whatever. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to deal with that. And like I've said time and time again, I like my goddamn space and privacy. I just like my space. Not against other people. It's just I've, I've, I've gotten so accustomed to this. Money is great. I I get it. I get it. I get it. 
happen. Like, when I was putting my request in, was, you know, my passport should be coming within a soon, hopefully, like, hopefully it comes in within the third week, because the way that goes is, it's three to five weeks from when they receive your application, not from when you fill it out. They received it on the 23rd of January, so three to five weeks from there is around February, I think, 7th-ish, 8th, uh, 6th, that starts the third week mark, I believe. Then the following week is my birthday week, and the following week after that, yeah, you know, sometime in February, I should get it. But yeah, the weirdest thing when I was putting my request in, you know, I mean, I get it, I, I, I um, Shout out to the fleet managers too. Shout out to the fleet managers. Shout out to you know the hard work that they do. I just I just found it odd and a little bothering that when I put my request in because you know, I'm going out. I'm, I'm I didn't say my reasoning, but this is the most time I've taken off. It's almost three weeks, almost a month for March. And you know it's just the response that my fleet manager gave me. It was kind of weird. I was, um, as long as you're, you have enough e-fund to cover, for the extent, I'm okay with the extensive time off. I'm like, why does that matter to you? I mean, I get it, because, you know, some people get here anyway, blah, 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 blah. I get that, but my time off has nothing to do with you. It's my fault how much I go into the hole. I get that. I, I Maybe it's just me or something. I get the accountability part. Because maybe some drivers don't set up the e-fund and then they're in a hole so deep that they don't have money, then they're not making money, then they need it for the, um, uh, the advances and all that stuff. I, I guess I get all of that. But for me, I I don't care. I know I'm going to be in the hole when I come back. I know that. I mentally prepared myself for that. And the trip, I, I still believe it'll be worth it. I don't care. And even if I don't have enough in my e-fund to cover it, who cares? <laughs> I'm going to be in a hole like maybe $5,000. I don't, I can fix that within a week and a half, two weeks. Oh, as long as I save money when I get back. I have a decent amount of money when I get back. I ain't got to worry about none of that, man. Like, it was just weird how that response was. I don't care what your other drivers has been doing. Don't put me in that category. I know what to expect. I know I'm going to be in a hole near five thousand dollars when I get back from that break. I know that, and I don't have a problem with it. Well, maybe that's the difference. Maybe that's what it is. I just know how to take the accountability part. You know, than other people. I know what I signed up for. But yeah, so. Yeah, that was just pretty odd. Don't worry, I still, I still, you know, I, I, I still like my fleet manager, though. Know? I guess too many people have been stressing them out <laughs> when it comes to the, uh, the time off, the extensive time off request. I'm like, I thought, because I always thought, from what I was told, if you get close to 60 days taking off, by, on that 60th day, if you have not returned someone else uh, I may be wrong I don't know you guys can correct me if, if you'd like I think we, if you take 30 days there's something else you probably have to do I don't know when you get back I don't know all I know is if you don't say ah, the most thing I know is if you're not driving for up to 6 months then you need to take a refresher that I know. Six months, I don't think I'll ever do that. That's a lot of time off. But I don't, but yeah, I thought, but I, I don't know. I just always thought when you take almost 60 days off, that's when you have to, they probably give your truck away or, or like, they, um, I don't know, you probably got to get back into the safety classes again or something. Who knows what crime is or something different. I don't know. For all my prime veterans, you guys can let me know if you'd like. I don't mind listening or reading, I should say. Not listening, yeah, reading, comments, and all that stuff. 
to be making more videos as often as possible. So this is my attempt of making another video. Which this video, I don't even know what I'm going to drop. But today's what, Wednesday, February 1st. Probably drop this tomorrow. Or Friday, who knows. But yeah, um... Huh. I wonder what else I was going to say. That's probably about it. I don't want to say that today. Then I start thinking of something else. Right when I'm doing my outro. <laughs>
guys can give me some tips on that. I don't know if Trucking Rex ever watches my channel, but if he does, um, by the way, we're both Aquarius, um, <laughs> and if I could, if you could give me some tips, I would greatly appreciate it. I definitely greatly appreciate it. Uh, I think there was a cop over here, right? Where everybody had to pull over to the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah there was a cop. I know I seen the lights. All of the lights. Let me stop. <laughs> Um, yeah, 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 man. Y'all give me some tips on what I can do, man. Um, I'm gonna try to do better, you know. Uh, one of the first, I guess I'll leave off with this. One of the first trucking YouTubers I've started watching before I knew trucking YouTube was a thing. This was way before I actually started putting in the effort to get my CD up. This is just when I was, uh, it was just a a fun thought. Tr uh, Trucker Brown was like one of the first uh, trucking YouTubers I've watched. Uh, I still watch actually. I actually still watch his channel. I think I found his channel back in 2018 or 19. I, I, I don't know. I, 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 especially now, I still like his live streams. I, I never catch it live, but that's mainly my fault. Um, but yeah, I, I, I like his channel. Um, Another trucker YouTuber I watch, small channel, um, what's his name? Um, Old Phoenix. Uh, I know he don't like putting his business out there, or nothing, but you know he's a cool, he's a cool guy too. He's a cool uh, YouTuber as well. You guys should check him out. Pretty wise, wise fellow. I'll give him. He's, he's younger than me, and you know he's been trucking longer than me too. But you know, I don't. I guess I'll leave the video at that. that show some love to some people that have been watching and you know just try to make this video as a little lengthy not too lengthy but you know just a little information I guess you know you know you boy trying out here oh but I appreciate you guys <laughs> as always please leave me some tips on the uh, please leave some tips on the the whole GoPro thing because I'm trying to figure that out. I do want to do the head strap thing because then, you know, I I can just have it on my head and I'll do anything, fuel and all that stuff. I guess all the little cheesy stuff you guys like watching. I can't say cheesy because, you know, I watch it too. So. <laughs> you know, I'm walking in shippers talking and all that stuff. Ah, oh, crap. Damn it! This guy's pulling up too close. I was going like, to switch lanes. But this guy's pulling up too close to me. I'm sorry. Stay right there, sir. Yeah, that's why you're riding on the shoulder. You see that? You see that? I had to come over. Damn. Sorry. Uh, where was I? Yeah. Anyways, really appreciate those tips. If you guys have it, um, I'm sorry, GPS just went up. But you know, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. I will definitely try to do better. You guys, be better. Be better than me. Be better than anyone. Be better than you were yesterday. All that. Love, peace, and happiness. It's your boy, MVP Master J, signing out again. Peace!